let's just go ahead and save our project and next up we will jump it back into our screen manager class and start uh, giving it some definition here uh, we will start out with some private properties for that so we'll do a private shared screens as new list a list is like an array it's literally a list of uh, pretty much anything you want it to be in this case it'll be uh, objects that are the, the base screen so <clears throat> it's gonna be a list of these classes so numerous instances of them will be stored in that um, secondly we will have private shared new screens to manage uh, new screens that are added to the game at runtime so we'll say also this will be a list of what type the type will be again base screen all right so we have two lists of base screens and the reason we do that is that when we enumerate through or iterate through a list of screens or any kind of list um, you cannot remove values from a list that is being iterated through so if you're going through the records one by one by index number and you try to remove a screen it changes those index values of the following screen so um, it'll crash on you throw errors at you so uh, you can't do that so what we have to do is hand them off at you know hand off values uh, that represent the screens in the other screen and then delete them from a different table or use that other table to delete them after we've gone through the records that'll hopefully make more sense as we go along it's kind of uh, confusing to explain but you will understand it uh, as we go through it so uh, our first sub is going to be the new sub so we'll say public sub new and that creates a new instance of our screen manager class later on we will add a default screen to that or our debug screen uh, next up we have to have an update class to actually update uh, the objects in this class so we will have public sub update and next up we will have a draw sub also a public sub let's call that draw and there'll be a lot of stuff in these so hang tight while we get it uh, all structured here uh, this is going to be a public shared sub <clears throat> It will be called add screen so whenever we want to add a screen to the game say we uh, open our inventory or something like that or we enter a battle screen uh, this is where you'll be adding new screens to the screen manager so we have to tell it what to add we'll say screen as the type base screen so it adds a new base screen object to our um, screen manager and we'll, again we'll populate that in a moment next step and finally we will have public shared unload screen also very important uh, when the battle is complete you want to be able to dump that screen so this is how you will do it again we will use screen not screen manager it wants to add that in for me but I don't want it to uh, then we'll add also a base screen and I'm getting an error here oh. <laughs> you see what I did wrong wow 
We'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> or you could leave me comments. Let's see, yeah, I saw that. It was pretty, pretty sad. <laughs> All right, we'll start out with this little guy here. Uh, adding a screen is very simple. Uh, we will take our new screens list that we created up above and add an object to it. And that object will be passed through this parameter up here. So whatever object, um, whatever screen name we want to create, we will just add it through here. It'll dump it into this list that we created as an object. And then it can be updated, managed, uh, drawn, and all that good stuff. So next up, we can do our unload screen here. And in this case, uh, we're kind of going to go through what I was talking about earlier. We have to say for each found screen as base screen. That's the object type that we're searching for in our list. List of screens. So for each screen we find in our list of screens, we're going to say if that found screen dot name equals screen dot name remember we set that property up above then found screen dot unload okay and then once we have found that we, we don't want to keep searching through the list uh, so we're just gonna say exit for so it stops looping as soon as it finds that screen that it wants to dump and uh, it unloads it. All right. Next up, we can handle our drawing method. This will be handled much in the same way. We're going to iterate through the records of our screen list one at a time and uh, check to see if any of our screens need any drawing done. So we'll say for each screen as base screen in screens, oops, um, <clears throat> all right. So it goes through all of the screens. And if the screen state is active, then let's draw that screen. So we say screen dot draw, all right? So we're evoking the draw method for that screen. Okay. Now, I can see one place where I kind of deviated. I used a found screen. It really doesn't matter what you use here. Um, you know, you could call it anything you want, but for the sake of consistency, I should probably stick with found screen. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that handles drawing for all of our screens. Very nice, simple, clean way to do that. Um, next step is our update sub, and this is going to be the monster here. This is where all the uh, guts of our screen management are uh, going to be located. So. Um, what we will be adding first is a dim remove screens again as a new list of our base screen class okay that will handle the screens that we want to remove so each time it updates it's going to create this new variable and uh, which is actually going to be a list of screens to remove. So 
Now we actually have to generate a list of dead screens to remove. So I'm going to add a little comment to keep track of what we're doing here. I'm going to say generate list of dead screens for removal. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to put this in with that because it's kind of part of it. Just tidy that up there. And I wanted this to be screens, actually. Okay. So we need to loop through our list again here to uh, find screens that need to be shut down. We'll say for each found screen as a base screen in our screen list. And uh, then we have to determine whether they are in a shutdown state. So we'll say if found screen dot state shut down, then we will add it to our remove screens list. Remove screens dot add found screen. Else, we'll say found screen dot focused equals false. Next step, we have to actually remove those dead screens. So we'll say remove dead screens. There's a little comment. Again, we will loop through our list. We'll say for each found screen as base screen in remove screens. Then we will say screens. Sorry, dot remove found screen. So as you can see, we're not looping through the screens list directly to remove them. Instead, we're passing off the ones that need to shut down to a temporary list of uh, dead screens. And then using those handles that are created, we can simply remove those from our active screens list without looping through it because we actually have their IDs passed directly to it. And uh, that'll prevent us from getting those errors that we would get if we were trying to remove them as we loop through the list. Okay, now <clears throat> we need to be able to add new screens to the screen manager. So that's the next thing we will do. We'll say add new screens to manager list. Okay. Once again, we'll be looping through our screens. And we will say for each found screen as base screen this time in new screens, because we want to know which new ones to add, we will say screens dot add found screen. All right. That wasn't too hard. <clears throat>